Finally at 7, NASA announced last week that scientists using the Hubble Space Telescope spotted the farthest individual star from Earth ever seen. Meteorologist John Hickey shows us how they were able to make this incredible discovery and why it's important in this week's Skywatch 16. But we never thought that we would see an individual star in one of these very distant magnified galaxies. That's what Dr. Jennifer Wiseman told me when we chatted online about NASA's major announcement last week. Dr. Wiseman is a senior project scientist with the Hubble Space Telescope program. What we're really excited about is that this team using the Hubble Space Telescope has detected the farthest individual star we have ever detected. The research team that detected this star have named it Arendelle, which is kind of, a, I think it's an old English word for morning star. Arendelle is extremely far from Earth, 28 billion light years away to be exact. In order to see Arendelle, scientists needed to rely on a magnifying glass of sorts known as gravitational lensing. So with Hubble, we look at these clusters of galaxies that are held together by their mutual gravity and they actually are distorting space in their environment, creating a lens, like a magnifying glass for light that's coming from objects more distant. NASA scientists have already made some interesting early observations. We know that this star is not quite like our sun. It's more massive. The star is at least 50 times more massive than our sun. It's probably a thousand times brighter. But they're hoping to learn more. Sure, we want to know its temperature. We want to understand its composition because it represents what stars were like in the universe. They're different from stars like our sun. Dr. Wiseman says Urendel is expected to stay in the gravitational lens alignment for a few more years. That's great because that gives us time to do follow-up studies both with the Hubble Space Telescope and with the Webb Space Telescope. If you want to keep up with the latest Hubble discoveries, we've included a helpful link for you in this story on our website, WNEP.com. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.